Hey, it's Thomas here, and today we're gonna to be checking out Toons' Turbel NanoStream 6040. And while this pump's been around for a while now, I think it's high time we revisit this very compact and affordable DC controlled pump and check out those neat tricks it has up its sleeve that I think most of us have probably forgotten about. Reefers have been using DC controllable pumps for quite some time now. They offer not only fine tuning over the flow speed of the pump, but also features like waves, pulses, and randomized flow modes. They're awesome often quieter and more energy efficient than their AC counterparts, and there seems to be so much more to choose from, whether you're looking for a propeller style pump for a nice wide and gentle cone of flow, or a gyre style pump to create a gyre using a wide laminar sheet of flow, there are even small pumps that can achieve both, like Tunes' Turbel NanoStream 6040. This little pump might look odd at first glance, but this nearly 1200 gallon per hour pump has not only the ability to sneak into tight spots, but can do it while also being able to be rotated and pointed in all directions, including across the pane of glass it's attached to. It can create a relatively wide cone of flow like a propeller pump or a more directed jet of flow when used with its water deflector. It can even create a gyre in your nano reef tank. With a simple yet effective controller, you can create standing waves, constant streams, pulses, and even connect multiple 6040s together to work in sync or anti-sync. Heck, you can even use your external aquarium controller like an Apex if you prefer. Plus, they're battery backup ready when paired with Tunes' safety connector and are super reliable, built to last like everything Tunes. So let's get this one out of the box and take a closer look. In the box, you'll find the NanoStream 6040 already assembled with its silicone buffers and magnetic mount, the Turbel controller, a spiral cable guard, and the power supply, as well as the instruction manual and the Tunes quality control card. The 640 has a flow range from around 50 gallons per hour up to roughly 1200 gallons per hour and is rated for tanks between 5 and 130 gallons. And while I can definitely see that you could get this pump into a five gallon tank and that it can probably add some much needed flow to some tricky spots in a 130 gallon tank, the sweet spot for the 6040 for most reefers is likely going to be somewhere between 20 gallons and 90 gallons. The pump is quite small at just 2.4 by 3.3 inches while protruding roughly 2.5 inches off of the glass. And to complement those dimensions, it has one of the most unique form factors with the propeller facing 90 degrees to the side rather than straight out from the magnetic mount, which can certainly come in handy in situations where a pump has to be mounted to a specific panel, but needs to fire water sideways down that panel instead of straight out into the tank. The magnetic mount itself is quite strong with four vibration absorbing silicone buffers to keep things nice and quiet. Not only can the magnetic mount and pump be rotated 360 degrees, but the deflector on the outlet can also be rotated 360 degrees, giving the 6040 an incredible range of motion, making it possible to point the flow virtually anywhere in the tank, regardless of what panel you mount it to. This makes it uniquely capable of getting flow into just the right place, even when you have little space to place the pump, like between the rockwork and the glass. Both the internal and external magnets are also fully sealed and waterproof, so you can even place it on your overflow without any issues. Now, the flow pattern of this little pump really sets it apart from the pack. When used with its deflector, it creates a wide cone of flow that is projected at a roughly 45 degree angle as it leaves the pump, which means you can place the pump 12 inches below the water on a 24 inch tall tank and achieve not only great surface agitation for gas exchange, but you can also create a gyre within the tank. Even on this six foot test tank, the 6040 was able to create a gentle gyre throughout the entire tank and get all of that water moving, so smaller tanks will definitely see a more significant gyre with only one pump. If you add a second 6040 pump on the opposite end, you can easily get a pair of gyres inside of that six foot tank that meet in the middle and bounce off one another. With the deflector removed, the 6040 acts very much like your standard propeller flow pump with a relatively wide cone of flow heading straight out of the pump and across the panel of the aquarium that it is mounted to, which can be really handy for adding flow behind your rockwork and in other places traditional propeller pumps have a hard time reaching. 
For example, you can attach the magnet to the back panel of the tank and still have the pump blow water across that back panel behind your aquascape and rock work, which means you get all of that detritus moving out of the way without having a magnet to look at on the side viewing panel of your aquarium. The Tunes Turbel controller that comes with the pump is also very easy to understand and use. It has a pair of buttons, one for its feed mode and another for scrolling through the various programming options. It also has three knobs, one for controlling the intensity of the pump, another for controlling the frequency of the pulse when it's in pulse mode, and one more knob for the minimum intensity of the pulse. For constant flow, turn the pulse and pulse power to 0% and adjust the main power knob to control the constant flow rate. To add some pulsing, you can slowly turn up that pulse knob to adjust the pulse frequency anywhere from 2 seconds on and off to 10 seconds on and off, and then adjust the pulse power knob to bring the low end of the pulse up to your desired intensity. The controller also has an auto adjust feature to easily dial in standing waves in just a few seconds for those who enjoy that natural motion of the ocean in their reef tanks, as well as an external controller mode for pairing up a second pump so you can run them in sync or anti-sync through a single controller, or for hooking the pump up to your external controller like an Apex with the Tunes RJ45 pump connector cable. Like I mentioned earlier, you can also hook up the 6040 to Tunes safety connector to create a customizable battery backup that will auto detect a power failure and then immediately switch to battery power to keep that pump running and the critical water circulation and gas exchange flowing for your reef. You can also pick up the optional photo cell if you want your 6040 to automatically ramp up and down in intensity with your lighting schedule so that you have less flow during the evenings and more substantial flow during the day when your lights are bright and the corals need it most. And for those that are running their 6040s together, there is a nifty Y adapter so you can still sneak in that photo cell. Maintenance for this pump is also really easy because the impeller is right there in the open and super easy to access. You just remove the deflector if you have it installed and lift out the impeller for cleaning. It's super simple. For a quick removal of calcareous algae buildup or coralline, you can simply run it in a bucket of citric acid or pump clean right by the tank, give it a rinse and get it back into action. The 6040 also comes in as one of the most affordable DC pumps at only 150 bucks, which I think makes it a no-brainer for anyone looking for a super versatile flow pump or a simpler alternative to traditional gyre pumps, especially for those nano or mid-sized reef tanks. If this unique little DC pump from Tunes matches your reefing mantra, you can go ahead and pick one up for yourself by clicking right here.